Hello everyone, I'm LG65, and Let's Play Yakuza 4 continues. In the last episode, we covered Boxelius 1, a returning game from Yakuza 3. So, here I am in the gambling hall in the Ryugujo, and I'm actually going to play Chohan. Chohan is uh, one of the gambling games you can find at the Ryugujo. I don't recall, but I think it was one of the story-based mini-games in Yakuza 1 that you had to go with Haruka with as Kiryu. Chohan is the game where you guess the sum of the paradise roll will be odd or even. <coughs> yeah, that's what it is. So... Welcome! <laughs> Even. And, and I'll and I'll go five tags. It's odd. <laughs> Let's do another one. See, yeah, that's what it is, basically. It's We'll do even again, and another five tags. It's even. It's odd! <laughs> okay, another one. What's do odd? Another five tags. It's on. <laughs> oh, do another one. Well, someone's confident. Well, go even this time. Er, three tags. It's even. Oh, do one more. Oh, someone's not so confident. One way bang. But this time, I'll wing it and shoot. Go for fifteen. It's odd. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try again next time. Yeah, right. I'll buy another set of tags. But yeah, that's what Chohan is. You have to get when when the die falls and the thing is closed. You have to try and guess uh, the 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 total sum numbers. So if it's like um, if it's like uh, even, if you think it's even, then go for it. If it's uh, if you think it's odd, go for odd, and then the final result is shown. So next on the docket, this is the first of three mini games I'm doing here in the gam in the gambling parlor. I'm actually gonna play. Um, next, let me take a look around, because some of these I've already played before, um, in Yakuza 3. Uh, CeeLo! <laughs> I'm feeling lucky today, yeah? Guess so! Who's the banker? That's me. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Oh, here are the rules. CeeLo is a four-player game played with three dice. The three dice are rolled. In the event that two numbers match, a third non-matching number becomes a point. Players compete for the highest point. 
Points numerical values determine the strength. Six is strong, one is weak. If you win with points one through six, the return is the same as your stake. Don't establish a point after three rolls, it's counted as automatic defeat. If any of the dice fly out of wool, it is counted as missing the pot, which is also an automatic defeat. There are a number of additional combinations that hold special values. Um, so here are trips, uh, which is basically when all three dice show the same number. Um, trips of all ones is a triple one and quintuples your stake. Um, two through six triples. Four, five, and six doubles the stake. One through three loss makes is results in the loss of doubles the stake. First, a banker selected. Many player place their bets, which the banker meets. Player the banker throws his dice first, followed by each player. Bets are set after throws are done. Our the outcome is the game is decided on the spot. The banker rolls one of the combinations on the next page, which is point of six. Uh, banker wins the same amount as the stake. Special combo, other than one through three. Banker wins two between two through five times the stake. Point of one, banker loses the same amount of the stake. Missing the pot, same thing. No point, same thing. One through three, banker loses double. When the round is over, player to the left, banker becomes a new banker. Like before, banker rolls first, all by the players until the game is set. Game is over when all players have been in the banker, or if a banker runs out of chips. So that's what it was. Well, she is. Looks like that dude is unlucky today. I just need to sit down. Point three. No, that's good. That's actually a loss, apparently. Point five. Tyler Sajima. I want to get some extra tags. So I'm actually going to bet 20 tags. Let's begin. Sorry. Our boil Tets is the banker now. Sorry. Sorry. How many rolls has this been? Nice. Next is Shima's turn. Uh, defeated, looks to be. Oh my god. <laughs> Here goes Saijima. <laughs> I just had to do that. Next is Stubborn Shima, banker, to liquidate our holdings. For those who don't get that reference, it's from the uh, Merrick vs. Wyshynski podcast. Um, downloadable on iTunes. And and usually occurs during the NHL season between at 2 p.m. every weekday. But nowadays it's like at 10 in the morning on Sportsnet.ca. Or um, of course, the uh, podcast is available to download on iTunes. So nice. No point for null there. So here goes Saijima. Okay, another shot. Yeah. <laughs> Another shot! Kugorua. Well, it's an automatic loss, apparently. Sorry. I really don't understand some of the gambling games. One, two, three. Ouch. Depraved now is now the banker. And uh, let's go for it all. 100 tags. Well, half. Point two. Okay. Wow! Point six! That's a winner! <gasps> I 
Trip two. That's a that's a good roll there. Second roll. <laughs> no point after three rolls. Yeah. We're done. At least for now. That was fun, actually. I gotta say. <laughs> Now is my Blackberry going off? So I'll check that and stop the video. So, next time, and let's play Yakuza 4. Um, we're going to cover another gambling game. The last one before we proceed to the main plot. So take care everyone, and remember, life's good. <laughs>